a lot of his movies are really good. I, that's one thing I wanted to get into is movie quality. Um, you know, most of Mike's movies are pretty solid, admittedly saying, but also a lot of Mike's movies are not the best. Um, it's kind of 50-50 with Mike. Obviously, the original Halloween is absolutely fantastic. Uh, one of the best. I mean, like I said, a Stone Cold classic. I mean, one of the greatest horror movies ever made. John Carpenter and Deborah Hill did an amazing job creating an atmosphere of genuine fear and tension. Uh, like I said, Michael's much less overtly supernatural in the original. He's much more of a, a just your common variety serial killer, which I think makes him more intimidating. I think it makes it scarier. The idea that someone you know in your community could just snap at any moment decide to become a complete and total unstoppable psychopath um it, i think haddonfield's portrayal is a lot better i've always liked haddonfield a little better when it's portrayed as like a genuine community of people who are good people who you don't want to see this happen to who you don't want you don't want to see mike you know ruthlessly murder them as opposed to some of the other movies later on in the franchise um halloween 2 the original halloween 2 is a good uh it's a little more brutal it's a little more gory than the original halloween um but it is a good movie john carpenter came also came back to direct this one he wasn't super interested in that i think he was more interested in kind of ending mike's story where it ended in the first one but i can't remember who made it uh who made this movie i want to say new no it's not new line cinema i'm dumb uh mustafa akkad is who was producing it forever so mustafa akkad eventually convinced john carpenter to come back and direct the second one and he did and it was the second one's really good even if it has some things that i don't like like i'm not particularly a big fan of when they revealed that mike and laurie are related i think that's kind of silly and kind of defeats some of the intimidation of the first one because part of the scary part of the first one is in the first one he just randomly picks Lori out and begins hunting her and her friends down and killing them i think that's way more intimidating than it being his sister and there being like a whole convoluted backstory as to why mike is the way he is i prefer mike to just kind of be a terrifying you know sociopath who has just randomly chosen this person and then he spends uh the rest of the time he spends chasing hers because she's the one that got away from him which makes sense to me if you were a fucking crazy serial killer you probably wouldn't want anybody to escape you uh halloween for the return of michael myers is a solid flick not great but it's not terrible it's it's a very good return to form for mike it's a great movie for him to come back in um obviously the emergence of danielle harris as jamie's i want to say daughter is great danielle harris obviously shows up later in the franchise and the rob zombie films um but halloween four here is a great movie it's a great step into the great step back into the franchise for mike um super fun kind of more your traditional cheesy slasher flick uh, a little less more of like the the revolutionary kind of horror film of the original more like your classic 90s cheesy horror film that is you know it, it's it's got a little more pizzazz than the other movies maybe not as much substance less steak more sizzle i would say for halloween 4 halloween fives where things kind of start to go off the rails a little bit this one's not great um mike mikey is is you know him being brought him being slowly nursed back to health by a random homeless dude to tina who's just like nails on a chalkboard annoying to kind of just the way it's all handled like the the hints at like the a, a larger kind of universe around surrounding michael with the 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 thorn stuff and the guy in the hat and 